Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply a trinomial times another trinomial, or a quadratic times another quadratic. Um, so this one does not look like fun, and really never is a trinomial multiplied by another trinomial very much fun. Um, but it is very helpful for us to be able to at least understand the process as well as how to do it, because you know moving forward, it is you know really just a process that you're just following along. And I'm going to try to make it as simple and as organized as I possibly can. So you can definitely apply you know, the distributive property, multiply this term times all those, this one times all those, this one times all those, and then combine your like terms. But what I found with myself and with other students is it's very easy to make mistakes as well as get unorganized. So if we remember the product of two expressions or terms can easily be represented as the area of a um, figure. So since I'm dealing with two trinomials, I am going to create a rectangle, or really a um, square, I guess it could be, uh, even though they're not equal. But either way, you want to break it up into sections of three by three. Because then for each row and column, I am going to write in one of the terms um, from each of my polynomials. So I wrote this one vertically, and then I take this one uh, horizontally. Now, to multiply these, basically what I'm doing, the way to represent the multiple product of all of these terms by each other is just to find the area of each little rectangle or square, whatever you want to think about it. So here, I just multiply these. So 3y squared times 4y squared is 12y to the fourth. Remember, add the exponents, right? 3y squared times negative 11y is a negative 33y cubed. Again, 11 times, or y times y squared is y cubed. 3y squared times negative 5 is negative 15y squared. 4y squared times 6y is going to be 24y cubed. Negative 11y times 6y is a negative, um, up, up, uh, negative 66y squared. And negative 5 times positive 6 is a negative 30y. Then I do 4y times negative 1, which is a negative 4y squared. 11y times negative 1 is going to be a positive uh, 11y squared. And negative 5 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 5. Now, what's nice about doing this rectangle is, one, you have all the answers inside these little square rectangles. The next thing that's nice about them is if you kind of look at the diagonals, you start to see that there are like terms. Oh, very, very, oops, no, those aren't like terms. That's y. So they are like terms. Um, yeah, so you can start to see that these are like terms, which is very cool. So now, as I'm writing out my expression, all I simply need to do is just kind of take you know, my first answer, or first um, part of my polynomial, my answer would be 12y to the fourth. Then I just combine uh, 24y cubed minus 33y cubed, which would be a negative 9y cubed. And then now I got to go ahead and um, combine all these. So that's going to be uh, negative. So they're all negatives. Man. Yep, all negatives. So that would be 70. So that'd be a negative 85y squared. Then I combine these two, which would be a uh, negative 19, 19y. And then lastly is a positive 5. So therefore, the product of my two trinomials is 12y to the fourth minus 9y cubed minus 85y squared minus 19y plus 5. Thanks.